of America. My name's Tom, and uh, I have to turn around and make a few statements for uh, we the people. Uh, the thing is, uh, I agree with that last guy, that the uh, economy is shot to hell. And uh, I believe that uh, the only way to solve this gas crisis is to uh, turn around and take everybody from FedEx and UPS, et cetera, and all these guys that drive all these big trucks to deliver the food to the supermarkets, and uh, go down Washington, D.C. and say, you know, we've had enough, that's enough crap. And uh, to turn around and say, we're not going to deliver any mail, you know, the post office, uh, FedEx, nothing. Uh, just stop America in its tracks to uh, turn around and make the gas prices go down to where they originally were. And, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, people who aren't so rich, like, you know, single mothers, single fathers that are taking care of children, uh, actually have enough money to drive their kids to school, to go to work, pay for food, etc. And uh, life would be a lot better that way. But not only that, I, I also have to like to explain uh, and express my opinion on uh, what childcare is today and you know how the state actually thinks that they're doing a good job in uh, confiscating people's children uh, involving DCYF, etc. Uh, I had a very unpleasant experience recently where, uh, actually not recently, but two and a quarter years somewhat, where uh, my child's mother temporarily signed the children over to the state and uh, she thought it was temporary, but it's not temporary. It's only temporary if the state thinks it's temporary. And uh, in the process, they put me basically through hell. And uh, I turned around and completed every single requirement that DCYF required. And uh, they're basically putting me through more hell. And uh, in the process, my children's minds and the psychological aspect are getting quite ruined. And uh, I don't think it's fair. Because when there's a parent that loves a child so much, there's no need for someone else to say and have an opinion and say to you that we're going to take your children when you're not the one that signed them over. The mother's the one who did that. And the thing is, I'm willing to do anything for my children, and I've always been there, diapers, wipes, binkies, etc. Food, I've, I've done everything for my children. They have a nice place to go to live with, me, etc. And uh, they basically put me through hell, and uh, I'm doing the best thing in the world and trying not to overwhelm myself in every aspect. And uh, I just believe that 90% of the people in the world that don't have a problem have a problem keeping it that way. Meaning other people get into other person's business and cause trouble in that fact. Someone who's jealous will always cause a problem with a person that has no problem whatsoever. That's a point of being nosy. It's, uh, what do they call that? Uh, it's very unjustifiable. Uh, I really don't know the word to tell you the truth, but I really don't want to take too much time on the camera. And uh, I believe that, let's get back to the uh, gas situation. I believe that if everyone actually understood about what's happening to America, they'll take America back by not doing anything, just freezing and seeing what the government will do about that because they can't arrest everybody and everybody has to make a decision. If they're actually gonna to combine together in unity and democracy, or they're gonna let the Republicans take it over. And that's actually wrong because it'll ruin our lives. It'll end up turning into Mad Max. People will be stealing and breaking into people's houses for a loaf of bread. I mean, it, it's gonna be total chaos, people. And everybody has to understand what they're doing, what society is becoming. I mean, education, what it costs to send a child to school today, 
isn't really paying off because they're going to turn around and hire some person from a different country that's willing to work for three dollars an hour and your child already passed all the education courses and they're out there to make 13 18 dollars an hour and you got all these other people from different countries that won't work for three, so your kid's going to end up nowhere. So do you really think college is worth it? No. Only education is worth it if your child knows the difference to take that job for three dollars an hour, stay an American, and that's it. I mean, totally expunge the thought of having other people come to this country and taking everything that we ever fought for. Thank you. My name's Tom. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Kenny from East Providence and everybody. Just got one thing to say. Constitution is great, but country, we need to get back to this and the Lord Jesus Christ. What your view is on who's God? Hey, it's a First Amendment right, Second Amendment right. I mean, First Amendment right, apologies. But we used to pray before we had meetings and we used to ask for the guidance of God. People, we need to get back to this word. Amen? Good evening. The truth is out there, and I have a public access show on Channel 13, statewide in Interconnect A. Channel 13 on Sundays at 11.30 a.m. and Tuesday nights at 11 p.m. And I talk about things like this, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, things that are really important to myself and should be important to all Americans and tune in that's Sundays at 11:30 a.m. Tuesday nights at 11 p.m. on channel 13 on Cox Cable Freedom This concludes this program broadcast We the People a freedom of speech television show go to www.wethepeopleofri.org <laughs>